Hello fellow journey makers, here we are again. A number of years ago my family and I had the chance to live in Dallas in Texas and pastor a church there. Numbers of you that are um, watching this video are doing so because of that time we got to spend um, in Texas. The first year that we were there, headed up to our very first Christmas, was uh, was something of a um, a difficult time. Um, for starters, it was freezing cold instead of being very hot. And even though it looked like um, Christmas from the postcards, it didn't feel like Christmas. But the more significant thing was that we were a long way from home and a long way from the people that we uh, that we loved, our family, our extended family. And it kind of, we were headed up that Christmas just feeling a little bit, uh, you know, uncertain about it. Well, three things happened that made that Christmas stand out as an exceptional Christmas. The first was a nearby church adopted us as their family. And they put together a, a beautiful big bundle of gifts and food to help make that Christmas memorable. And indeed it was. The second thing was my parents were able to make the journey from Australia and spend the Christmas with us, which gave us that that connection with home. But the third thing, and the most significant for me personally, was that my daughter gave me the Star Wars trilogy as a gift. Now, I'm a Star Wars fan, loved it growing up, but that wasn't what was so special about that moment. My daughter had been talking with me a few weeks before about Star Wars and about how much I loved it growing up, and she had remembered that. And she used her own money to buy me that um, trilogy as a way of communicating to me how valuable I was to her. It was the first time one of our kids, and she was about nine and all the other kids are younger, uh, it was the first time one of our kids has ac actually done something um, out of their own motivations in terms of buying a Christmas gift and it, it was so meaningful, it was so uh, real that it stands out to me today as being one of the most um, special Christmas presents I ever received. You know there's no way to disconnect love from worth. If we say we love somebody the only way we have to let them know is to show them how valuable they are to us. That's precisely the point that is reflected in Galatians chapter 2.20. Um, we've been in this part of Galatians for a few weeks now and, and last week we looked at the first half of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 and now we're looking at the second part. The first part said um, I am crucified with Christ. So Paul was saying um, my identity come, doesn't come from all the things that have shaped up my ego. My identity comes from my relationship to Christ. But the second part of this verse makes this statement. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul is saying that my life, my, my very physical, very normal life that I live from day to day, uh, not, the, not the life of, that I might imagine, not my prayer life, but my ordinary human existence. I live by faith in the Son of God. He is the one that defines me. He is the one that shapes me. He is the one that motivates me. He is the, he is the center of my very existence. But the key to that is the statement, He loved me and gave himself for me. When Christ died for us, he was telling us what we are worth to God. It's an expression of love. But we clearly know it's an expression of love because it shows us how valuable we are to him and to his father. That makes the Christian walk not about all of the laws, not about doing the right thing. It makes the Christian life not about constructs and philosophies and theologies and understandings, as important as those things might be. Christianity is a day-to-day -day existence where we live our lives and gain our sense of who we are and what we are worth by the reality of a relationship with God, the creator of the universe that loved us personally so much that he gave himself for us. It's an incredible truth 
And when that buries deep in our heart and changes the very fabric of the way we see ourselves, we are transformed that we may, might live the life of love. What an incredible thought to take with us throughout this week.